So what's up guys, uh, welcome back, this is my boy Gyaldam Sling, how you guys doing? Uh, good morning, afternoon, evening, depending on where you guys are watching this video from. And thank God it's Friday, and uh, please try as much as possible to stay safe home. Despite today is Friday, you know, Abuja, I don't know if Abuja, well, so far so good. Eh? We are not hearing about the kidnapping and uh, so many other things in Abuja again, you know? let's be honest. You know, as at last three weeks, we are hearing about kidnapping here, kidnapping there, kidnapping this about. As at now, there is no kidnapping incident. We are not hearing about it again. You know? Let me be honest. So I can say, let me give it some couple of weeks, maybe one or two weeks or three weeks. Then I can now say if Abuja is free of kidnappers or Abuja is not free of kidnappers. But as of now, we do not hear about kidnapping again. That being said, are you guys fair now when it comes to the Naira dollar? As of today, the Naira is equal to one Naira. Sorry, one dollar is equal to one hundred sixty Naira so far. And uh, of course, it's telling on us, all of us, most including myself as well. In fact, most especially myself. I am not doing good in this economy. Let me be honest with you guys. I am not doing well in this economy. The economy is harsh on me. But notwithstanding, I believe I'm going to survive through this, uh, through this economy. And the government needs to really do something about it, man. Honestly, I am not doing good. I am not doing well. And I'm hoping, and if I say praying, I know our, our issue is beyond prayer because God has given us everything. But I'm hoping that uh, the government quickly do something about it. And Nigerians need to stop being greedy. Nigerians need to stop being greedy. You know, they need to love themselves. They need to love themselves. We all always say Nigeria are happy people, but deep down in our mind there, uh, Obviously, it shows in our economy that, that we are not happy people, that we are very, very envious towards each, each other. You know? It shows, it shows. If not, why not? Why will the economy be this hard now? Why will people be hoarding food? Why will people be the, just uh, putting prices in commodity and everything? Although I do not blame them as well. Though. Well, the Naira, 160, 1,600. Naira is equal to one dollar. I remember during the time of Gulo Jonathan, one dollar was equal to one hundred and sixty naira. It was eighty naira, then go goes up to one hundred and sixty naira. If I knew as at then, I would have uh, hold my dollar. You know, I would have hoarded, hoarded my dollar. Maybe uh, things are I would become a millionaire by now if I had dollar then. Well, unfortunately, and again with the cement as well. Cement, Dangote cement, now sold for 10,500 Naira. I remember when I was building, doing my project, I was buying cement as I last two years here. Yeah, last two years now, I was buying cement. When I was doing my project, I bought cement for 2,500 Naira. By the time of finishing my project, I bought cement, 3,000 Naira. Then it went down to 2,800 Naira. But guess what, guys? Guess what? Cement, one bag of cement, now equals to 10,000 Naira. 10,500 Naira. When we used to buy 10 bags or 15 bags for 10,000 Naira as are then, your 100,000 Naira today cannot buy you 10, 15 bags of cement. I remember by the time I have 100,000 Naira then, I know very well I may have succeeded in buying like 15 bags of cement. I remember one trailer load of cement is sold for 600,000, 700,000. Trailer load of the whole food trailer, 600, 700,000 for cement. The whole food trailer. When I was considering going into cement business, Food trailer was 700,000, but now 700,000, a trailer load of cement that was 600 bags for 700,000 plus the transportation and everything. As of now, 700,000 can only get you 70 bags of cement, <laughs> even lesser than. 
Well, Nigeria will say, Dan will take this, Dan will take that, Dan will take this, Dan will take that. I don't know who the fault is, who. I don't know who the fault is, but I believe we have these natural resources here. They are big. It should be cheaper now. Let me think like every other Nigerian. We have these, Niger these natural resources in our country. Why isn't it cheaper? It should be cheaper. And in Ghana, I don't know how much you guys are buying bag of cement. Please, let us know. How much are you guys buying a bag of cement? Our naira is crashing every day. Becoming so unvaluable. Peter Obi became, just recently, became the first Nigeria presidential candidate to ever publish let me explain it as lay as plain as possible peter b just became the first ever president of a, a presidential candidate to ever publish his party campaign money his presidential campaign funds it will be published how he spent the money, how much was donated, how much was taken, and how he got some donations and everything. He published it. You know, for the past few months now, from Bruno Mokere and the rest, I've been asking Peter will be publish how you spend billions of billions of uh, donations they donated for you. You know, it's easy for people to accuse. Here are the facts now. You people will run away. Peter Abe, according to Obedient Campaign Account Summary, they said donation from citizens in foreign banks amounted to 575 million naira. Oh, wow. Then donation from Peter Obi himself donated 800 million naira. Then campaign materials for so the deductions, can, campaign materials for 265. 68 million naira, media and radio uh, broadcasting is 60 million naira, then election promotion material is 10 million naira, then pulling unit agent, 224 million naira. You see now pulling unit agent, they almost chop the money pass. Then back charges, 1 point something million, then administrative by charges, 400 and something thousand. Then legal expenses, 744 million naira. How am I going to spend 744 million naira on legal expenses and not win the case? <laughs> well, lie, I think there should be a clause eh, on all those legal purposes. Eh, signing and undertake it that if I collect social money, I do not win the case, I'm going to refund all the money back. Ah. Then campaign and election activities, 28.5 million naira. Then the balance currently is 19 million naira. So Obi Dante, Peter Obi recently revealed the financial statement. So you as a Nigerian, so those Reno Mercury and every other person that keep asking question, you can take this statement and go and do your personal audit, whether it's correct or not. So now, good one from, uh, uh, from uh, Peter Obi. I, I really applaud him for doing that. Now, let's go back to our economy and... What is the main issue now? As at, I'm talk, as at the time I'm talking to you now, eh? there's just a report that cement I have skyrocketed to 15,000 Naira. No longer 10,500 Naira. Now it's 15,000 Naira. Well, it seems like we are going to leave cement for them. Oh. If anything goes up, you are going to leave it. We will move on to the other, uh, to the other side. Because, come on, man. We can't be living like this now. And we can't be living like this. Everybody, everybody they ought to. But I hope, I hope these people get this right this time. Come on, man. I know how people feel, but I hope they get this right this time. Now, they just closed their Sahad store. The government are trying to fight back using their power. They just shut down Sahad store. And they are also planning on shutting down warehouses as well. So if you get warehouse and you, they keep materials for there, they hold full stuff. No, now they might come to shut down your warehouse. So you better start selling food stuff and stop hoarding food again. Well, some people will say, 
holding full stop has been on the existence for a very long time now, which is fine. I know holding full holding materials have been on a very uh, has been there for a very long time. People like farmers are going to keep their material just in case. The purpose of holding any food there is just in case. It's just in case the food has scarce. That is how we were taught in school in businesses. That is what business is all about. To make profit. And you hold things so that when they skyrocket, you sell. I think eh, they need to start re-educating us that such business ideas eh, are greediness. Maybe by then we will now understand, no, when we get material, we sell it. Get material, we sell it. Hmm? Because that's how we were taught in school. In order to maximize your profit, you have to hold your material and wait for the season. They are not really readily available. Then you sell. That is how we were taught in school. That is just exactly how we were taught in school. This guy said, since I was a child, I grew up to see people doing this thing. Storing grains and other food stuff to sell at a high price. Do not once, no, and, and not once did I hear Nigeria experience food scarcity because of it. Until APC came to power. Same way they blame Aboki efforts for Naira meltdown. Well, guys, it all started from there. Come as today. What made this war to be exactly what it is today? It's because of trade by butter because of commerce. Eh? It all started a long time ago. And this, what started a long time ago is what is affecting now. Because of maximizing your profit. If we were taught that by then, that even when the thing is scarce, we should, we, should, we should still sell it at the same price. If businesses taught us then, they are not, they are not saying they will be increasing anything. Then houses, People can build houses well without feeling the heat. It's commerce. Commerce costs all those things. Even inflection in UK, everything is, is the founding, the background of how we were educated to maximize profit. They were storing grains then, grains in, the, in their market. Why would they just storing it? Why were they storing it in order to maximize profit? And when there's no longer income to possess, if there's no more possession power, come, the team is skyrocket. So it's all started from that time when they were storing. So the storage now is now opening readily as a business. Everybody is now going into the business of storing products. You know, that is how it is. Before, you see one or two farmers storing grains. But now in your village, because they know that that is a lucrative business, you will see more than hundreds own storing food products. Of course, now everything is skyrocket now. So it's our founding fathers. It's our founding what we were taught that is affecting today. Hmm?